right, and welcome back to the most known unknown fighting games, everybody. Now, we're looking for the best and the worst of the most known, but at the same time, the unknown fighting games. Now, we're going to go back in time to one of my favorite games growing up, and that was Final Fight. These bad boys been around since 1993, and their last game was in 2006, which I don't want to ever talk about that game. But we're going to talk about the mid to late 90s Capcom where they're making every game into 3D. From 1996 to 1998, they made eight 3D fighting games. And I tell you, they were awesome. So in 1996, Star Gladiators came out and that was Capcom's first 3D fighting game. And in 1997, one of my all-time favorite fighting games, Rival Schools, came out. And a really big sleeper, 1998 Tech Romancer. We got a video for that. So let's fast forward to 1999 and we're going to talk about Capcom developing a game. They designed it and they, sip, they shipped over the programming to America to finish the game, which was never done. But with that, we ended up with Final Fight Revenge for the Sega Saturn. And let's get to the game. Man, oh man, and we're off. Now, this game right here was developed for the Sega Saturn. It was developed on the STV system, which was like the Sega Saturn for the arcade, which made it very easy to port this bad boy over to the Sega Saturn in the 2000s. But for all the people who had a Sega Saturn, you ask yourself, I never got to play this game. I love Final Fight. Why didn't you get to play it? Well, there was a reason. It was Japan only. And for a lot of people, that's kind of cold that American audience probably won't like it. So let's look at what's in this game. You got arcade versus and that sweet options. You can turn on turbo, turn on the rounds, and change your buttons. Man, that sweet, delicious menu. Oh my goodness. And nothing gets more cleaner than that 90s loading screen. I miss those sometimes. But let's get into the character select screen. This game has all the characters that you should recognize if you play the Final Fight series or Street Fighter Alpha. I mean, you got the Cody's, you got the Hagar's, you got Guy, you got Mama Poison, and the list goes on and on. And I mean the list of 10 characters. So with that, we got to get to this gameplay talk real quick. Now the gameplay has that final fight, you know, pick up weapons, use weapons. I mean, most of the time you just pick up a, you know, a pipe or a knife or a, a hammer. Well, in this game, they gave you flamethrowers, rocket launchers, freezing guns, and they're not the best weapons, but they can kind of stagger the gameplay and change it up. Now, this game did do something I actually like, and that put in the ground food. I love it. I love beating up a garbage can, and you get a delicious hamburger in there. It gives you half of your life back. Um, if in weapons, they're not that important. You can take them out of people's hands and use it against them, but you're not going to win a fight with that. Because I tell you this much. The grab is the most important weapon. I mean, you want to win a match, you grab everything. You get the air grabs. You get the punch jab grabs. It's the most useful move because 90% of the time, the AI is just going to block everything you throw at them. Everything, but they won't take grabs. Now, I do give them props in their specials, their super moves. They are creative. They're different. They're zany and wacky. You know, my favorite is Hagar. He does, um, you know, he... I was just watched a video on about drilling to the center of the earth and Hagar said, I got this handled and I like that stuff like that. And the AI with the specials are dang near and they can, it's like you can't even stop them sometimes, but they, they'll get you with it. They'll plow you into the dirt. They'll run you over with the car. They'll send you to the middle of the earth they'll, and they'll get their gang to beat you up and step on your stomach. But you can't just develop a game based on that. Let's be real. The there's punch kicks grabs specials weapons and that's pretty much it i mean it took me two minutes and 23 seconds to beat the game and you only get 10 characters and there's a versus mode so if you have no friends then you're going to be kind of asked out on that end so you're just going to end up with a paperweight and now if you buy this game recently <laughs> you end up with a 400 dollars paperweight anything this game could have made it a little bit better I'm a big fan, like I said, of beat em up games, and I love Final Fight. But just imagine if they did something like this, because if you only have fighting uh, arcade mode and versus mode, you had Tekken Force that came out on Tekken 3, 
and they could have easily done this also because Tekken 3 was already out they could have borrowed that idea and made something a little bit more grander with especially with this franchise in his name and it was a big problem going into this game because I realized that this game was set up to fail Sega was thinking about the Dreamcast and everything else did not matter they just finish up publishing games and getting them out of this uh, getting past the Sega Saturn because if you sit here and look at 1993 they were going up against Resident Evil 3, Dino Crisis, uh, Street Fighter 3rd Strike, Strider 2, and Alpha uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3, all games created by them. And they also, in the year 2000, the following year, they dropped Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which is so many people's favorite fighting games. It's just a sad state to see that happen. And one of their uh, programmers from back in the day, also the founder of Tango Gameworks, talks about Final Fight. Check it out. カプコンユーシー、え、アメリカの方で、あの、ファイナルファイトの続編みたいなのを作ってたんですよね。で、それをちょっと遊んだ時にすごいクソだって僕ファイナルファイト割と好きだったんで、僕の好きなゲームをこ